Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a kind of like a create with me um, in this journal that I made uh, a while back. So I'm just selecting a page and I found this one. So I'm just going to start putting little bits and pieces of paper together. Just kind of, I guess, just doing a collage at this point. I'm, I'm not really going to do any writing. It's more like, I don't know, like an art, maybe an art journal page. I'm just trying to put something down to release some creativity. And um, this helps me, you know, just kind of get started with my day in a positive note. So I'm just picking out some little pieces here that I have in this kind of little file accordion uh, little container that I just keep smaller bits and pieces in. So if you notice there, I ran that piece through a mach the machine, the sewing machine real quick, and I'm just making it into a pocket. So I'm gluing it down just on three sides, trying to figure out where to put this these other little bits that I pulled out. So I decided to go and just staple this down with the little tiny stapler um, and then rearranging these, these pieces in that, in that little side tuck spot. So decided to put a ruffle. So I'm gonna, I think I ripped this in half, just kind of tear it, cut it and then tear it. And then I'm going to run it through the sewing machine and make it into a ruffle. So see, I've already done that. And I'm going to go ahead and use Fabri-Tac to, uh, to put it down. And yeah, just, you know, something just simple and, you know, something quick. So I'm just putting this tag back on just with a paper clip. and um, trying to find a place for that little bit of paper, but I just ended up putting it to the side. So here's um, some piano paper. I had bought a huge roll from eBay and I've only used not even, you know, eight inches or whatever. It's just a tiny little piece of, um, I've only used a little bit of that roll. So anyway, I've just pulled a little piece of the piano paper and just stuck it there on, um, on the page and now I'm cutting a um, a digital uh, printout uh, that I bought from Etsy and I'm just trying to find a space for it here on the page I should have put the scissors down right but I'm still cutting I knew I had to cut a little more so I'm trying to find a spot for it I'm just gonna glue it down real quick just with some um, a glue stick it's quick and easy. So there you go. Trying to figure out what to do with that. Just rearranging everything. I decided to go back to that printable and get another, um, another butterfly just to maybe balance out the pages. So I'm going to glue that down with a glue stick as well. Looking, I'm just looking for more things. I think something to put in that little pocket that I made. So I'm just kind of auditioning some pieces see what goes in there and I decided on um, I don't know this little thing that says you are lovely little sentiment so I'm just gonna chomp the corners with the the corner chomper and uh, punch a hole and then that way I can tie a little ribbon on the top or something um, I, I think I just tied a piece of uh, scrap fabric. So I have these, you know, the hole enforcers, um, paper, uh, little hole enforcers. I don't know what they're called, but anyway, yes. Yeah, so here's a little piece of fabric. I'm just going to, you know, cut it and attach it with the tiny stapler 
and or the tiny attacher I don't know what that's it's the Tim Holtz I think it's tiny attacher and so I'm just putting that in the pocket and now I just took out um, a, a marker I forget what this one's called um, but just making little marks just to kind of put everything together and um, you know finish up the pages trying to figure out where I want more marks marks just make everything better I think I love mark making So now I'm just going to attach just another little piece of fabric. I think this is the Sari Silk uh, ribbon. I'm just going to attach it down there again with the uh, tiny attacher. Trying to just even out, um, balance out the pages with the colors. Uh, so since I put the little kind of light teal fabric, I thought it needed something on the other page um, in in about the same color so I'm trying to figure out where to put this and I think I decided uh, to go ahead and make a, like a little tiny a banner piece and I'm going to run that through the sewing machine which I've done right here and I'm going to attach it just there on the top right corner with glue I just like how the sewing just adds so much, uh, you know, uh, texture, you know, to the page. So here I am just with a little tiny piece of that same cardstock, trying to figure out what to do with it. I'm just going to go ahead and glue it up here, just like I said, to balance out that color, balance the pages out. Oh, and I think I was pretty much done, but then I saw that little piece of uh, piano paper and I'm just gonna attach another little piece there on the bottom with um, just a glue stick. And uh, make some marks on it. I think that's what I end up doing, yes. So just making some more marks. and just a little bling adding some sequence up there on the top left in that same kind of tealish color just with some fabric tack just to add something extra just a little more dimension and interest to the page And that's it. I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching.